morning, Wall Trip Rams. My name is Monica Russo, and I am with Metro's press office. We are so excited to be here today to celebrate um, this great community event. We're always excited about working together with our community partners for these things. We're going to go ahead and get started uh, and kick this off. I'd like to introduce our uh, Metro board chair, uh, Mr. Sanjay Rambadran. Dang, I got a drum roll. Thank you, Monica. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for having us here. A shout out to the band and to the cheerleaders here to get us started. Um, I'm Sanjay Rambadran, Chair of the Metro Board of Directors. And before we begin, let me be sure to recognize some of our partners that are celebrating with us here today. Waltrip High School Principal, Rhonda Honore. <laughs> I believe we're going to be joined by the Greater Heights Chamber of Commerce Education Committee Chair and Waltrip alumna, Cindy Reibenstein. <laughs> Dr. Win Tu, Executive Director of Wraparound Services. <laughs> and my fellow Metro Board member, Christopher Hollins. Thank you all again for being here. Hopefully the weather will continue to cooperate. Um, at Metro, we are proud to have collaboration such as this because it's an opportunity for all of us to invest in the future of our communities. What better way to empower our children than by giving them an opportunity to make real world positive change in their own communities. This is all part of Metro's art and transit program making sure that our system is reflective of the communities that we serve. What a great way to have school pride, the school colors, the school mascot for students to work on, you're absolutely right, to work on and enjoy every single day as they get to school and hopefully ride Metro on their way to and from school. I want to congratulate the Waltrip High School for taking this project head on and turning a concept into reality. I want to particularly recognize Waltrip student, Veronica Fonseca. If you're here, please stand up. For contributing to this uh, shelter project, and as well as the Waltrip art director, Lauren Parr, for her guidance. Stand up and take a bow as well. We're thankful for educators like Ms. Parr, who are instrumental in teaching students how to tap into their creative genius. Now, each time a Waltrip Ram sees this bus shelter, I hope they're reminded that big accomplishments are often easier than we think they are. A small group of thoughtful, committed people can bring about meaningful change to their schools, to their communities, to our city, state, nation, and frankly, the world, and history is full of such examples. Let me now bring up to the podium my colleague, Chris Hollins. Thank you, Chair Ramabadran. Uh, to our principal, our band, our cheerleaders, our mascot, our students, <laughs> faculty and staff, uh, it's an honor to be here with you uh, this morning. When I graduated from high school just last year, uh, I was... <laughs> I never would have uh, even imagined having you know, some work of my own be placed out in front of my school in a way that was going to last for years and years to come. So Veronica, I'm so excited for you and grateful because uh, as a member of the Metro Board, not only are we expanding this system to be a part of a, glean, a, a cleaner and greener future for the city of Houston. Uh, but also one that's going to make this a world-class city that you all, after you go off to college or go out into the workforce, can live in and can get around in. Um, and so as we expand Metro to, to get us to the airports, to add bus rapid transit, to make it faster and safer, uh, again, and cleaner for you to get around this city, uh, it's been an honor to be a part of that work, and I'm grateful to folks like Veronica who are making this a, a, a beautification project 
uh, as well. And so I'm, I'm a high tower hurricane, but it's an honor to be here with the Waltrip Rams today. Um, and, and just uh, wanted to say thank you one more time. God bless. We're gonna make you an honorary Ram this morning, okay? Honorary Ram. Good morning, everyone. Um, the collaboration between the city and the community it's a win-win for everyone. Um, Veronica's mural represents all students at Waltrip High School. Um, and it's very important that our students see that they are represented in this community. And Metro, it fosters that. So very appreciative of this collaboration. The artwork, Veronica's artwork, it captures the essence of Waltrip, this community, which is the people. And when our students thrive, our community thrives. When our community thrives, our students thrive. It's a, it's a, it's a win-win for everyone. So this is a very exciting opportunity for Wall Trip. I definitely want to thank Veronica. I want to thank Miss um, our wraparound specialist, Miss Anna Navarez. Thank you so much for taking the lead on this. I want to thank the Greater Heights Chamber of Commerce for your continued support every single year for believing in our campus and our school. Um, and a huge thank you to Metro. Um, for your this opportunity fostering the longevity um, this it marks it, it stamps our presence here in this community and it, and it won't go away and so we're very excited about this and just thank you again for this opportunity you can't hide that ram pride go wall trip well uh the Greater Heights Chamber of Commerce does proudly salute Waltrip for their community-minded student activities and for Veronica, her artwork that's proudly seen at this metro station. It will be here forever. You know, the support of a student receives comes from not only their educators and their lives, but the community and their parents. It's all of us together that makes this thrive. And Metro is a business serving this community, and they made a partnership with the area schools, and like a great chamber philosophy, it made it a win-win situation. I'm also a proud Waltrip grad, and uh, been here a long time ago though, but that's okay. Um, it wasn't last year, <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, but you know, this Waltrip student, you have contributed to the fabric of the community building. And um, I was on the project board for 10 years, to rebuild this campus as well. So I've been through some ups and downs and I'm so proud that we're on our way up. We're doing a great job here. And with the Waltrip community service minded uh, that it has and with the leadership that we have from the principal, Ms. Rhonda Honore, this continuation of service and leadership will continue to build great character, empowering the community and businesses. You know, this service and leadership will continue. And the Greater Heights Chamber is all about empowering communities and business partnerships. For it is through those combinations and networking that we bring about awareness, change, and growth. And so we thank Metro and we thank Waltrip. And of course, love that jazz band. And I love the cheerleaders and all the, I think the dance team is over there, um, the community. But you know, I wanna thank Waltrip I want to thank the Metro Station because it's going to be a gateway for many to come and to find enjoyment of learning, the enrichment of the fine arts, and the thrill of athletics. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Tom Lambert. I'm the CEO for Houston Metro, and we're excited to be a part of this win-win partnership opportunity for this community. You know, quality bus shelters are essential because they're part of our commitment through Metro Next, uh, as Mr. Holland said, a really expanded network that ensures we have a better walk, we have a better stop, and we have a better ride. That's a better experience for the customer and for the community. Keep in mind that when we encourage young people to tackle, tackle local challenges, we're instilling a sense of purpose uh, and the knowledge that they can do big things, not just today, but for tomorrow. Uh, this is more than a material investment in this community. It's also an investment in people. 
and an engaged citizenry who will care about greater good for their neighborhoods, not just today, but again for tomorrow. This shared civic identity is essential for our community's future success. I want to express my gratitude to the artist and the work you've done, Veronica, to all the educators at the school, to the principal, uh, to the Greater Heights Chamber and their support of this campus and this community, and their engagement with Metro to make sure that what we're doing is very critical, not just a celebration today, but I want to keep reminding a celebration tomorrow and for years to come. Uh, I have educators in my own family, and I know their passion for their students, and I know their passion for education, and the, really the value they bring to the le learning lesson they're giving these students. So they invest in time, effort, and the passion to make sure that they're successful. You know, somebody did a study one time and said, how many students does a teacher really impact in their career opportunity? It's over 3,000 students that that teacher is going to have a personal investment in that really brings value for that individual, again, not just while they're in the classroom, but in their future life. The influence that you're making to your students today, uh, you know, it's not, just, it's not just something that happens today, it's really priceless. And the more the teachers commit, the more they invest, the more we see that they are bringing great service to our community. So on behalf of the chairman, the Metro Board of Directors, Metro continuously seeks ways to include the local community in all of our projects. And we want to make sure that we spread the word about this initiative. It's an art in transit program, but what it really is is an art that moves people. What you're going to see today, rolling out today, will move people. And that's what this initiative is all about. So I think we've had a great celebration. I want to be a part of the band, but they won't let me, I guess. I know I'm not going to be a cheerleader, but I want to thank your enthusiasm. I want to thank the number one district. Number one in the district. district. Let's give them a round of applause.